Hello, I'm Gabby Coletta. Thanks for joining me for an awakening vinyasa flow practice out here in the Sonoran Desert, surrounded by Soaro and Okatillo, just welcoming in the sun. The invitation for our practice today is to invite rasa into our day. Rasa is a Sanskrit word that means juiciness, essence, or flavor. And the beginning part of our day is this opportunity to set the tone, the flavor, for the rest of the day to come. So as we start to awaken the body, can you really savor the movement? Can you start to tune into sensation and relish in awakening this body? And drop into that place of juiciness, of fullness, to set the tone for the rest of your day. We'll start in Sukhasana, easy cross-legged seat. You can place yourself on a blanket or a brick for support, especially if the hips feel tight. Palms face down, and the eyes close or soften the gaze. Beginning the practice from a place of internal awareness. Noticing how you're arriving in your body, on the mat. Noticing your breath, the quality of the breath. Without judgment or attempt to shift and do. I'm just going to take a slow audit of how you feel. Emotions pulsing through. Thoughts moving in and out. Just welcoming full presence over this body. You can bring one hand to your heart and one hand over that hand if it feels comfortable. Take a big breath into the heart, full, and sigh out the breath. Two more arrival breaths in this body, filling up your heart, your presence. And let it go. One more big breath into the heart, just nourishing this body. And let it go. If there's a personal intention you wish to set, please do so now. Bow head towards heart, honoring this intention. Slowly release the hands down. If you're cross-legged, switch the cross of your legs. Ground the fingertips on the earth. Let the spine get long, the heart lift. Even the crown of the head reach up. On your next inhale, sweep the arms out to the side, up overhead. Palms press. Hands come to heart center. Two more times, starting to move body and breath together. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Ribs expand, lungs fill up. Exhale, hands to heart. And once more, inhale, big breath in, welcoming everything that's appearing in your body, your mind, your heart as part of the practice today. Slowly guide the hands all the way to the knees and start large torso circles. Imagine starting to churn up any lethargy, any sleepiness, any tiredness. And just feel into the sits bones, noticing what parts of the body are touching the ground. Beginning the day and the practice from a place of grounding. And once your torso is upright, switch the directions of the circle. Circling the ribs, opening the front of the heart, sides of heart, back of heart. And start to trace your breath in and out through the nose. Bring your torso to neutral. Seated cat cow, inhale, draw the heart forward, lift the heart, the chin. Then exhale to round, pull the shoulder blades away from each other, tuck the chin. A few breaths here. Inhale, draws the heart open, collarbones broad. And exhale to round. Imagine really drinking in the breath full. And exhaling to open back of heart, stretching the skin on the back. One more seated cat cow, heart open, collarbones broad, even throat stretches, ability to communicate and round, ability to receive love. Come back to your neutral spine, reach the arms up to the sky, big inhale, 
and then drop your right hand down to the earth and crescent up and over to the left for a side body stretch. Stay here as you continue to root the left sit bone down and reach top arm over further. Come back through center, both palms towards the sky and then opposite arm down, crescent up and over to the opposite side. Take another breath here as you spiral the heart up. Big inhale to fan, open the top ribs. Exhale carries you to center and we'll invite a little flow. So take it side to side. You can close the eyes, just feel into the body, the side body opening. And go side to side. Imagine that each time you stretch the side body, you're inviting a little more energy, capacity to breathe. And really savor into the sensation of the stretch. Once you're even on both sides, come back to center, inhale, and then twist to the right, left hand to right knee, right hand anchors behind you, two breaths, the inhale elongates the spine, the exhale rings it out to twist, one more breath, slowly come back to center, arms sweep to sky, twist the opposite way, and two breaths here, begin to use your breath as a way to deepen into sensation, into feeling. The inhale creating space between each vertebrae and the exhale ringing out the spine, clearing out last night's sleep. Inhale back to center, reach the arms to the sky and then bring the hands down in front of you, rock onto all fours. Table pose is very neat. Spread the hands, shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, even the shins anchor. Next inhale, draw the heart forward, lift the chin, the gaze. Press the earth away to round, cat cow. Two more breaths here and start to invite ujjayi breath in and out through the nose with a little constriction in the back of the throat. One more cow and cat. You can stay with this movement or invite your own intuitive movement, waking up the body for C curving the spine barreling the torso, and be here for about four breaths together. If you're moving in a particular direction, switch directions. Two more breaths. See if you can tune into the parts of the body that haven't gotten your attention yet, your awareness, and just notice how they feel. And then come to your neutral table. Hips stay over knees, start to walk your hands long in front of you. Take a big inhale, spine long, and exhale, melt the heart towards the earth for Anahatasana, puppy pose. As your heart melts down, can you find a little lift in the armpits? Biceps spin towards the ears into the sky. So even as we drop into that ease, that sukham, we're starting to invite strength as a form of balance and stability. These heart openers can be a subtle way of energizing the body. So take one more breath here as you awaken. One more exhale. Walk the hands back towards you, table pose. Tuck the toes, lift the hips up and back, Adha Mukha Svanasana, down dog. Hands are shoulder width apart, maybe wider if your shoulders feel tight. Just tilt the tailbone high and sink the heels low. Little bend in the knees. Inhale to rise up onto the tippy toes, and then exhale, sink the heels back down. Twice more, just really starting to notice how the toes feel, the feet, the backs of the legs, the entirety of the legs. One more. Inhale, ripple forward into plank pose, shoulders over wrists. Option to lower the knees down for support. Exhale, hips up and back, down dog. Twice more, inhale, ripple forward to plank, long line of energy, crown of head reaches forward, exhale, hips up and back. And let the breath really bring you forward, inhale, ripple forward, exhale, hips up and back. Walk the hands towards the feet, the back of the mat. Forward fold at the back, soft bend in the knees, drape torso over thighs, grab opposite elbows, and then gentle sway side to side. 
Let the back of the neck get long. Take one more breath. Release the hands heavy towards the earth and then find your half lift. Crown of head reaches forward, weight in the fronts of the feet. Exhale to fold, fingers in line with toes, forehead towards shins. Twice more, half lift, long spine, widen across the collarbones. Exhale to fold, forehead towards shins. Once more, half lift, navel draws in. Exhale to fold. Little bend in the knees, roll yourself up one vertebrae at a time. Mountain pose is where we meet. Bring the shoulders up to the ears and then roll them down the back so the heart lifts and is open. Turn the palms forward. Half Surya Namaskar to invoke the energy of the sun. Awakening, inhale, reach the arms to the sky, lift the heart. Exhale, fold forward, soft bend in the knees as you fold. Find your half lift, collarbones broad, back of neck long, and then fold a little deeper, fingers in line with toes, head heavy. Reverse swan dive, press through the feet, rise tall, just gathering your energy, your strength, your presence for the day. Palms meet and hands to heart center. Twice more, inhale, reach up, breath carries the arms up. Exhale, hinge at the hips, soft bend all the way down. Find your half lift, collarbones broad, relax the tongue, the throat, fold even deeper as you reach sit bones up. Reverse swan dive, reach, arms out to the side and palms press, hands come to heart center. One more time, inhale, sweep the arms up, grow tall, and then exhale, fold yourself all the way down towards the earth. Half lift, long spine. Fold even deeper. Reverse swan dive, press through the feet, rise tall. Palms meet. Hands come to heart center, samastitihi. Pause here, lift your heart into the thumbs. Find your breath full. Complete exhale to feel the four corners of the feet grounded. On your next inhale, reach the arms up, grow tall. Exhale, fold yourself all the way down. And then walk your hands forward into Adha Mukha Svanasana, Down Dog. Next inhale, ripple yourself into plank and lower knees. Chest, chin to the earth, slide onto the belly, untuck the toes. Wide arm Bhujangasana, come to tent on the fingers, elbows to the sky. Inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, melt the heart down. Twice more, really savoring the sensation of opening the heart, draw the navel in. Exhale, fold. Once more, inhale, heart draws up. Shoulders melt down the back. And exhale, ripple the forehead down. Take the hands under the shoulders. Press yourself through all fours. Table pose, rounding the back through cat. And bring it all the way into child's pose. Flip the palms up, just letting the outer upper arms roll away from each other. Let the forehead come to rest on the earth. If it doesn't reach, just allow the back of the neck to be long. One more big breath in child's pose, really inviting the skin on the back to stretch, and a full exhale. Turn the palms to the earth, spread the fingers, and then rise up to table. Tuck the toes, lift the hips up and back, Adha Mukha Svanasana. Send your right leg high to the sky. And then open up the hip, stack right hip on top of left, and you can bend and extend the leg or just find some mobility, some movement that feels good for you. Reach the right leg long and back, press through the heel, and then lightly step the foot between the hands. Lower your back knee down, untuck the back toes. Anjaneyasana, reach the arms forward and up, lift the heart. Exhale to cactus the arms out as the heart lifts up even more and the tailbone lengthens towards the back. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, release the hands down. Send your hips back, half splits. Flex your front foot, lift your heart. Exhale, melt heart towards toes. Two more times, inhale, lift the heart and pulse it down towards the toes. One more. Then bend into your right leg. Plant the hands down, tuck the back toes, and send your right leg back into down dog. 
Stay here for a breath. Let the breath expand the ribs in all directions. And the breath release heels towards the earth, side body long. Send the left leg high, three-legged dog, and then open up the hip. You can bend and extend the leg, invite some circles, but keep squaring the shoulders to the mat. Even knit the low ribs in and up, and then invite that juiciness just feeling into sensation in your left hip. Reach the left leg long and back, press through the heel, and as lightly as possible, land the foot between the hands. Drop your back knee down for Anjane Asana, Arms sweep forward and up, inviting the heart to open. On your next exhale, cactus the arms, lift the heart, draw the belly in. And then reach the arms back up to the sky, arms frame the face. Exhale, hands down. Shift the hips back, half splits. And breathe here for three juicy breaths. As you inhale, spine long, pelvis tilts forward. As you exhale, heart melts towards toes. As you breathe here, see if you can keep the rounding out of the upper back. So drawing the heart forwards, melting the shoulders down. And still keep your awareness in the left foot, really flexing pinky toe edge of the foot back. Let your breath pulse you deeper into presence and sensation. And bend into your left leg, plant the foot and hands on either side, tuck your back toes, and step it into down dog. Take a full breath here. And a complete exhale. Inhale to ripple four to plank. Modified chaturanga or full version, your choice. Lower knees, chest, chin. Slide onto the belly, low cobra. Down dog is where we meet. Shift your gaze to the front of the mat and walk your feet up to the front, all the way to the top. Once you arrive, half lift, offer your heart and fold yourself inward. Reverse swan dive, press through the feet, rise tall to stand, palms meet and hands come to heart center. Take your big toes to touch, your heels slightly apart. Reach the arms to the sky, grab onto your left wrist and crescent up and over to the right. Side body stretch. Come back to center, take the opposite wrist up and over, other side. Come back to center and then cactus the arms, lift the heart as the tailbone lengthens down. Reach the arms back up, grow tall. Then exhale, swan dive forward. Half lift, plant the hands, step your right foot back. Right foot back, knee stays lifted this time. Reach the arms forward and up, high lunge. Square your hips forward, lengthen your tailbone down, take an inhale here. And then exhale to cactus the arms, lift the heart. Inhale, reach the arms back up. Spiral your back heel down, open warrior two. Virabhadrasana two, hips and shoulders open to the long edge of the mat, shoulders relaxed, flip both palms up, and on your inhale, straighten your front leg, tap the palms to touch, sink back down and soften shoulders. Twice more, inhale, gathering up, presence, exhale, soften. Once more, and warrior two. Flip the front palm up, reverse warrior, reach up and back. Stay for your exhale as you sink a little lower in that front knee and then take one more breath, canvassing the breath in the left ribs. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down for a revolved lunge twist. Right hand to the inside of the front foot, left arm up. You can always drop the back knee to the earth for the most support. Here for two more breaths. One more breath as you peel shoulders away from the ears and release look forward to the top of your mat and then step your back foot forward to meet half lift exhale fold reverse swan dive reach all the way up palms meet hands to heart center samastitihi big toes touch heels slightly apart inhale reach the arms up grab onto your left wrist 
crescent up and over. Really press through the inseam of the feet to get a little more lift out of the ribs. Come back to center, take the opposite, and crescent up and over, opposite side. Think of telescoping the ribs away from the hips. Inhale, back to center. Cactus the arms, lift the heart, pinch the shoulder blade tips together. And then reach the arms back up, grow tall. Exhale, fold all the way down. Half lift, long spine. Plant the hand, step left foot. Left foot back and keep the knee lifted. Reach the arms forward and up, crescent lunge. Keep squaring your left hip forward. And then inhale, really long side body here. Exhale, cactus the arms, lift the heart. Draw the navel in to support your low back. Inhale, back to center, grow tall. And spiral your back heel down, warrior two. Virabhadrasana two is where we meet, front heel in line with the back heel or the arch. Relax the shoulders, flip your front palm up, both palms up, and then straighten your front leg, reach the palms to press, and pulse back down. Twice more, inhale up, exhale, pulse. Once more, and pulse. Flip your front palm up, reverse warrior up and to the side. So more of a side stretch than a back bend. And keep pressing your front knee towards the pinky toe edge. One more inhale. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down, revolve lunge, left hand to the inside of the front foot. Right arm up, really twisting. Oftentimes when we do these twists, it enables deeper heart opening, deeper breathing, more energizing postures. One more breath and release the hand down. Look forward to the top of the mat and step forward. Half lift, long spine, fold inward. Reverse swan dive, reach all the way up. Palms meet, hands to heart center. Pause here, just feel your breath, notice your heartbeat. Notice what feels more awake in the body, what still feels tired as well. And then go ahead and anchor your gaze towards one spot, your drishti on one spot that's not moving. Start to ground into your right foot. Imagine sending roots into the earth. And then turn your left hand up and grab onto the inseam of the left foot. Go ahead and glue your thighs together, thighs parallel. Draw the navel in, lengthen your tailbone down, lift the heart, Nadar Anjasana Dancer is where we go. Reach the right arm up, inhale here. Then exhale, start to kick your left leg back as you hinge your hips. Keep the heart lifted. So we're getting both a back bend and a forward fold. Really big heart opening pose. See if you can square your left shoulder forward, square your left hip forward, and breathe here for three, for two, and one. Slowly come back to center, release, and then clasp your hands in the front of the left knee and hug the left knee in, little release. Release it down. Ground into your left foot this time. Turn your right hand up. And then grab onto the inseam of your right foot and glue your thighs together so there's not more than one knee's width between your knees. Again, finding that stability of the core, draw your navel in, lengthen the tailbone down to release any compression or potential compression in the spine. Left arm up, inhale. Exhale, pour your heart forward, kick your right leg back. For even more stability, you can take a deeper bend in your standing leg. Keep lifting the heart. Big breaths into the heart for three, for two, and one, slowly come on out, interlace the hands in front of the right knee and hug the knee in a 90 degree bend. Spine long. Release, foot down. Bring your big toes to touch, your heels slightly apart. Sweep the arms to the sky and grow tall and fold all the way down. Half lift, rise to your tippy toes. And then sink your heels down and take your knees wide. Take your arms wide too. Variation of malasana opening up in the hips here. And just gently bow head towards heart. A few deep breaths. 
See if you can sink the heels down round the upper back like you're finding cat pose. One more breath, just counterbalancing our big heart opening. And then bring the hands towards you, slowly behind you, so you can come back onto a seat. Soles of the feet together, butterfly the knees out. Inhale as the heart lifts. Take a moment here, grounded. Then bring your right leg out to the side, half straddle, sole of the left foot in. Again, make sure that your pelvis is tilting forward slightly. Turn your torso towards your extended leg, lift the heart, and then just walk your hands alongside the extended leg for a slight fold. Keep the spine long. One more breath. Bring your torso to center, reach the arms up, and then twist towards your bent leg for a twist. Right hand to left knee, left hand anchors behind you. Try to keep both sit bones rooted. One more breath. Right hand stays on the knee. Inhale, left arm up and over towards your extended leg to crescent a side body stretch. Roll the heart to the sky. The top pinky finger rotates down in one more big spacious breath. Make it juicy and full. And release the right hand down. Rock on, or your left hand down. Rock onto your left shin. Lift the body, arch the back, a little mild thing. And sink back down. Last side, half straddle, left leg out to the side, right sole of the foot in. Breathe here for a moment. Then really flex the left toes towards you. Really awaken even space between each toe. Turn your heart towards your extended leg. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold inward. Just take it to your depth, each exhale being an invitation to soften the muscles and fold a little more. Each inhale being an energizer, bringing in more prana, more life, more life force. Come back to center, sweep the arms to the sky, and then twist to your right, left hand to right knee, right hand anchors behind you. And just notice how this twist might feel a little different from the first twist of our practice of our morning. Keep your left hand on the knee, inhale your right arm up and over to crescent a side body stretch. Roll the heart to the sky, one more big breath, and release left hand down. Rock on, excuse me, right hand down. Rock on to the right shin, lift the heart. And release. Bring your left leg in. Move to the center of the mat. Send both legs long and use the support of your core to lower yourself onto your back. As you arrive here, hug the knees into the chest. Give yourself a squeeze, a little rock side to side. Keep hugging your right knee in as you send left leg long. Hips scooch to the right and drop the knee to the left for a supine twist, a rinse water breath. Really just wringing out the spine in one more big twist. Come back to center, left leg in, right leg long. Scoot your hips an inch to the left and drop the knee to the right. Left arm comes out to a half T, palm faces up. Inhale here and exhale to really empty. Slowly come back to center. Hug both knees in if there's anything else you need to awaken the body, to invite a little more rasa and juiciness. Take the next few breaths to do so now. I'm going to leave you in Shavasana so you can really savor it as long as you need. And just be mindful that you'll have to take yourself out. So when you're ready, hug everything in tight and squeeze. And let it all go. Legs long. Arms on either side, palms face up. Just receiving the energy of your practice. <laughs>